team is looking into how a school popped up in Rockland County on a property left vacant for years, and now officials worry that hundreds of children could be in danger. I team Sarah Wallace is digging deeper into this mystery, and she joins us now with the exclusive details. Sarah? Well, Chuck, we ran into one roadblock after another trying to solve the mystery in Chestnut Ridge of the school shrouded in secrecy. Neighbors and local fire officials say they were totally blindsided, kept in the dark. Well, today, the executive director of the school responded, but the latest controversy is symptomatic of an ongoing issue in the town of Ramapo. Every day, giant school buses filled with children roll out of this sprawling property in the village of Chestnut Ridge, right past the violation notice plastered on the front gate that says no one is supposed to be occupying any buildings. Neighbors tell us they started noticing activity a few months ago. I saw a lot of night work people fixing up buildings at night. The 145-acre property, which once housed a school for troubled New York City children, has been vacant for more than 10 years. Then, neighbors say locked gates appeared, no trespassing signs, security guards, and those buses. If you're not shrouded in secrecy, then when I call and say I'd like to know the name of the school, doesn't somebody tell me the name of the school? Somebody give us some answers. That's all we're asking for. We were chased out of the office when we went to ask questions. You're completely in the dark. Completely in the dark. The one person you'd think would be clued in, the local fire chief. But Chris Van Scheck says he only recently learned that several hundred kids are attending school on the property. We don't know if they're hiding anything because we're not even allowed on the property. While we were with him, he tried to get access for a second time. Go in the office, all right. And this is where we get kicked off the property. He says he was told he needed to make an appointment. It's under the cloak of darkness and um, it just it can't be like that. A spokesman for the management company Sapphire Ventures told us they have complied with all state fire codes and that this certificate of occupancy filed with the village is current. It's from 1964. It's not valid. Not, it, I've been told by our own legal people that is not a valid. Should it be shut down? <sighs> I think I think it should not be occupied until all of the proper approvals have been granted. Earlier this week, we learned officials connected with the property were headed to a meeting at Village Hall, but they ducked us. Back at the office, we'd like to have somebody give us some answers about the school. We do not record the private office. 150 on this floor. Today, a PR person arranged for a brief tour of the school, which we learned is called Base Yakov and has 309 girl students. The rabbi says he leased the building from Sapphire and has nothing to do with anything else on the property. I was advised that no major construction was done in this building at all. So he says they didn't need any permits from the village. As the executive director of a school, I I can be assured that this building is in full compliance of all the codes and regulations that we knew, including fire safety. Village officials disagree and say the fire alarm system was never connected to the 911 Rockland County Dispatch Center as required by law, never tested until today by the local fire inspector. Today was supposed to be done today, actually, while he was there, so it could be as... But kids staying. have been in here for weeks. It, like I said, it was hooked up. Why not bring in the fire chief and have him walk through the building before kids came in? Why not? There are differences between the land Lord and the village officials and I was advised that will be resolved very shortly. If that was my house we would I would not be able to live into the house because they would have the door padlocked shut. A spokesman for the property owner Chestnut Ridge Ventures told us this afternoon they have successfully passed fire and safety inspections and they disagree with the village's interpretation of the code but adds they are working cooperatively to resolve any questions. Chuck.